So here, something divided by 90 equals 30, and we need to find the missing dividend. So let's start by ignoring the zeros. Which number divided by 9 equals 3? Well, 9 times 3 is 27. But now we need to look at the zeros. The number of end zeros in the dividend will always be the total of the end zeros in the divisor and the quotient. So we need two end zeros, which means that 2,700 divided by 90 is 30. Now we could have solved this by using the inverse operation. 90 times 30 is 2,700, because 9 times 3 is 27, and then two end zeros in the multiplication means two end zeros in the answer. So which number divided by 40 equals 700? Well, 28 divided by 4 is 7, so there we have the first digits in the number. And now, because we can see three end zeros here, we need three end zeros in the divisor. But we could also use the inverse operation and multiply 700 by 40. We know that's 28,000, because 7 times 4 is 28, and then we need three end zeros. Now we have something divided by 700 equals 7. We know that 7 times 7 is 49, and then because there are two end zeros in the divisor, we need two end zeros in our missing number. We could also solve this by working out 700 times 7 which is 4,900, because 7 times 7 is 49, and then we need two end zeros. So which number divided by 600 equals 50? If we look at our non-zero digits, 6 times 5 is 30, and then because we can see three end zeros, we need three zeros after the 30. Or we could solve this by using the inverse operation. 600 times 50 is 30,000, because 6 times 5 is 30, and then we have our three end zeros.